Greetings, puny mortals. You are joined, as always, by me, loyal one-eyed owl member, the prophet of pasta, the shaman of sauce, the pan-dimensional, hyper-intelligent, flying, quasi-erotic, mutant, purple monkey, dishwasher, alien, reptilian, rape baby, Jesus. And yes, my hair is beautiful, I thank you for noticing. Saying hello to my boys, my homies. So today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the whole economic downturn, the, the Goldman and Sachs shenanigans. I personally didn't notice it happen, my life wasn't affected in any way, shape, or form, but I also have the secret government watching my back, so take that for what it's worth. Anyways, uh, as for that reason, I have no idea when it actually happened, but what I'm gonna show you, inevitably, eventually, possibly, maybe, baby, is that the economic turmoil began far, far before Goldman and Sachs. Began roughly 35 million years ago, when our pan-dimensional, hyper-intelligent, flying, mutant, quasi-erotic shop at Costco for the best savings, hyper-dimensional, reptilian, alien overlords first came here in the moon. And they liked the earth, they liked the atmosphere, they liked the chewy, chewy cocoa beans. But you see, your average pan-dimensional, hyper-intelligent, mm-mm, good, mutant, flying, purple monkey, dishwasher, alien, reptile, is about nine feet tall, and your average dinosaur is significantly larger than that. Needless to say, our uh, moon-flying overlords got a little scared and mm, nuked the shit out of everything. And then they molded the monkeys in their image, only to decide a couple thousand years later that they didn't like us and it was time for us to die. Flash forward to 9-11. Actually, 9-10. Uh, our reptilian alien overlords uh, took a bit of a vacation to recover from the, the trauma of having to wipe out uh, their own even if they were significantly larger with big nasty teeth, Miss Scusi. Bonjourno. Classified deniability, etc., etc. Anyways, so 910 rolls around, and uh, the Secretary of the Ministry of Defense, somebody from the Ministry of Defense, Steps up and goes, eee! Uh, we just crunched the numbers and there's 2.3 trillion dollars we can't account for. Oops. Then September 11th rolls around and CIA hijacked planes crash into the World Trade Centers, which are then hit with, uh, for lack of better terms, death ray via harp. Uh, an explosion underground. This was a trifecta of evil people. Pink unicorn spotting. A trifecta of evil. And somehow the basement managed to be completely and totally unharmed. Hmm, I wonder. So anyways, underneath one of the towers there was a giant ass vault full of gold. And uh, when they recovered the gold from the untouched basement, there was a whole of a lot of it missing. So you got 2.3 trillion from the Pentagon, you got somewhere around 20 billion worth of gold from beneath the trade centers. Just I 
I personally would uh, blame that for the economic downturn. It was just a matter of time before it caught up. Let's not forget that on 9-11, uh, missile hit the Pentagon. It was fired by a plane from Area 51. The pilot was Narnian in origin. And, uh, stealth technology. It's a beautiful thing. And it just so happens that the spot of the Pentagon that was hit was where the data banks for all the finances were. And the only casualties of the missile were accountants. Non-military accountants, because you don't kill your own. Really what I'm trying to say is, is if you want to prevent terrorism, buy frosters. See, terrorists don't have frosters. So for every froster you buy, we here at the One-Eyed Owl will send a froster to a terrorist. I personally guarantee that as long as you have no further questions. That's right, a personal guarantee, not a real guarantee, that I We'll give a froster to a terrorist for every froster you buy. <sighs> How about that local sports team?